Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about GQ's tutorial, Master Test and Project Management Easily. Now what is going to be the topic of this video? Basically, we're going to talk about a new application called GQ's. But before we get into that, I just want to highlight the struggle or the cons of Google Task. Right here, I'm currently in Google Task and I know millions or not even millions, a lot of people works and use Google Task. For example, on this right here, we have my task, family, work, new list, and email with this one. It's a pretty user-friendly interface, right? But for example, on the task right here, I want to move it to a certain date. I want to add some PDF. I want to add some images. I cannot do that simply because basically, um, Google Task is pretty simple. Not that I'm saying it's worst. I'm not saying it's bad though, but it needs a little more upgrade, right? Same goes with calendar. I know a lot of people knows how to add some tasks in calendar, but we cannot really stretch out a certain task to a certain hour. For example, this task right here under Feb or September of 26 is up to 5.15 a.m. However, I wanted to extend it up to a two hour long task. I can't really do that. All I can do is change the date and time. Basically, that's gonna be a struggle inside task. So for this video, we're going to talk about the GQs. So I'm going to explain to you how it works, what's the benefits, and basically how it basically master it. Now as best practice, of course, let's check the pricing before we get started. Perfect. Right here, we have the yearly and monthly. For the monthly, these are going to be the prices. However, if you go for yearly, you're going to have 20% discount. So we're going to utilize free users for this one. Take note. Um, before we get started, we're going to create a video using the free trial only. This includes this task right here. And for the differences, I think the mobile apps is not available for our end and bulk actions and central license management. We also have limited shared calendars. Anyway, we're going to utilize everything for the free trial and create a video with it. Let's go back on the dashboard. Perfect. Now, once we're here, simply click on sign in with Google. Take note, this is only for Google users. It's not available yet for Microsoft Edge or any other browser. For now, it's only for Google, okay? Now, welcome back to the video. For this one, we're having a free trial in 14 days that expires in 10 of October. And with the first thing I'm going to do right here is, I'm going to change the settings or theme to dark. Because I work better, I can see better in the dark. It's harder to see for me if it's going to be everything is light. So I'd rather go for the dark. Display, you can compact right that one. Compressed or comfortable. Now, the Gaper shortcuts, if you're not familiar, here they are. You can find them on the under settings right here. This is actually a pretty nifty, pretty smart addition feature. Pretty good, right? And then, for the settings, it's going to be right there. So, you can also buy your plan for this settings. So, you're using the free trial, which gives you access. Upgrade to GQs for you. So, take note, guys, we only have a free trial, and it will end in October 10th. Anyway, we can use this one for now. So the first thing I'm going to teach you right here is take a look at that text. Very bold letters, very prominent, very visible if you're going to ask me. Comparing it with the one in Google Task, with this one right here, they're really simple. I'm not saying it's a bad thing again, guys. It's just going to be my personal preference. If you compare with GQs, that's going to be the major differences. Next thing on the left side, you have queues. We could don't call them tasks anymore, basically. So queues is going to be the task for this term. And under it, you have so much folders. As you can see right here, I have personal and then long term project. Under each folder are going to be the queues or to do. So under to do, I have four. And if I have a long term project, I can simply add them here. So under to do here, I have four, right? My favorite feature for this one. It doesn't matter which is going to be first if you have a specific date. For example, the first one, let's just say for the sake of discussion, this is going to be the 1st of July. And then the second one, you have 2nd of July. It doesn't matter for the date because you can rearrange them however you see fit. You can chronologically set them up. That's going to be by your own preference. And then right beside this big add task option, there is this up and down arrow. Basically reorder by date, since we don't have a date yet, that will not work. You can reorder by date created, reorder by title, reorder by tag. For tag, we're going to get to it later part of the video, so please stay tuned. 
So right here, as you can see, I've added a simple task. Let me just show you to it right now. So simply clicking add task right there. I'm going to type in sample task 2. So under sample task 2 to set a date, simply you have so much icons here. If you just hover your mouse, you can see which is going to be which. So first one is calendar, basically set a date, assignment, notes, attachment, add comment, tags. This is the one I from earlier. And this three dots right here, which is basically more options. And of course, we can forget about the move to trash or delete. So for a set of date, this will work only if you have integrated your Google Calendar inside GQs. So simply click on that option wherein you can see integration and you'll be good to go. So for this one, set up a date and then you can set a time specifically. Every hour is going to be your choosing. For me, I'm going to go for 45 minutes. You can choose the reminder, email or pop up. And then for every 15 minutes, this is actually what I want about this reminder. It gives you an option how much interval of minutes you want each pop up. And then you can choose if you want it to print daily, weekly, every weekend or custom. I'm going to go for weekly. And basically with that being said, click on done. So we have this one right here. As you can see, let me just change this one right away. Make it 28 because remember I told you earlier, it doesn't matter by chronological error. If I want number 6 or September 8 to be earlier than this one, that will not be a problem. It will not cause problem because even though it's September 27 under September 28, that is perfectly fine. Next up, attaching some files. Earlier I've mentioned in Google Task that I wish I can attach some PDFs, right? So for this one, we can do that by simply clicking the attachment right there. You can select from Drive, Google Docs, Sheets, New Google Slides, or basically, drop files on a task to upload. I'm going to, of course, going to select Google Drives right there. And this is what I mentioned earlier about the calendar. You need to integrate your Google Drive, your Google Calendar, or a or any Google account inside GQs for it to be more accessible. So I'm going to click on Activate Integration now. And for this one, simply click the email you're using for GQs. Take note, okay? Choose the one that you're using under GQs. So I'm going to use a dummy Google account, click on continue, and wait for it to finish. And there it is. We have now successfully integrated Google Drive in GQs. Let's return to GQs right now. So welcome back to the video. Now let's try attaching a folder. Right here, we have now this button because we have successfully integrated it. We don't have to click this one right there, but I'm still going to go for this one. So select from drive. Now I can select now freely. I think I'm going to go with a sample word document. And with that being said, we have it right there. Let's attach some more. So I'm going to click on attachment right there. So we have a word document How about some JPEG. I'm going to select that right there. And there we have it. So if I click on this one, I can view it within inside GQs. Now think of it as Google tasks, but upgraded. This is Google Task Older Brother. How powerful is that, right? You can preview each attachment inside GQs itself. Pretty powerful, right? Now for this one, since we have uploaded some finished files already, what if we attach some new document? As you can see right here, new Google Docs give me a file name. For example, I'm going to name this one Tutorial Sample. Click Create. And right here, it will now create a file and attaching to task. How powerful is that, right? Take note, this is GQs. And for example, I can click on got it right there. Help me write. I'm going to type in a title for this document. I'm going to create, create a sample shopping list of produce. By the way, guys, I have a video about this help me write feature in Google. So please check it out. This is a pretty awesome tool. And without being said, I can refine this one to a tone more casual, if you may. And with that being said, I'm going to click on insert and there we have it. So this is going to be auto save on drive. And then let's go back on GQ. So welcome back to the video. So we have this tutorial sample right there. It's the one we were querying earlier. Now this is going to be real time update. So whatever you change here, for example, let me just type even sample one, remove this folder and then click on this folder or this option again. We're going to have that sample one right there. Pretty awesome, right? So let's go back on GQs again. So last but not the list, of course, if you want to upload something from our computer, for example, a photo, 
I can just simply find it, drop it on a simple task, for example, right there, that file to task, drop it right there, and that sample image from our computer will be uploaded and available for preview. Pretty awesome, right? So what's next? Let's talk about the tagging. So tagging right here is basically tags as it is. What it means is that tags are keywords. If you have hundreds of tasks, thousands of tasks rather, you can simply type in the tags in the search bar and you can filter them by your own choosing. You can also reorder them by tags as you can see right there. That will be by your own preferences. Take note, right? And then, how to create a tag? Let me just sample you with this one, create tags right there. I'm gonna type in here, let's just say tag one, click enter, and we have tag one right there. With this one, I can type in tag two. And then just for the sake of discussion, I'm gonna create a sample task three. And with this one, I'm not gonna create a new tag, but I'm gonna attach tag one and tag two on this task. Now, if I reorder this one by tag, I can now have those all together. How powerful is that, right? Easy as that. Now for the next feature, we're gonna go back on Google Calendar or Google Tasks. As you can see right here, we have automatically upgraded or integrated this pop-up GQs. Of course, I can rename this one by your own liking, but if I click on check right here, I'll have the task under GQs. First thing I'm gonna tell you is remember this one right here. This is gonna be a task in Google Calendar, right? I cannot really expand it to a specific time frame I want, but take a look of this one. I can remove it, right? Move it however I see fit. Also, I can expand it how long I want. Also guys, if you have this one right there, you can edit it by your own choosing. Or you can simply click on the GQ's add-on or extension and then edit everything within here. As you can see right there, this test right here can be edited or marked out. For example, with this one within Google Calendar, you can change this one to personal or to do or change the date, time, 135 minutes, and the words. If you click on this option, open in GQs, you'll go to go directly on GQs from earlier. Now for the next feature, we're gonna utilize Gmail. Under here, I have my dummy Google account, and with the side panel, if I choose a random email, as you can see right here, this is all random. Now, if I click on the extension for GQs, this specific email will pop up. Now I can set it on the different list I have. You can choose to do, goals or inbox and then I can notes right here add to current email or link to current email with that being said I can set tags so much more with this one if I click on tag one right there name this one let's just name it inbox something like that click on save and with that being said this is now under tag one I can set assignments for this one let's just say you have so much more going on on the GQs I have collaborators I have members I can simply type them here and now, for the set date, you can create this as a task. Click save. And right now, if I click on task right, create a task right there, this email would be now under GQs, which will be created as a task or as we call it, queues. So welcome back to the video. Right here, we have the email from earlier. And this being said, if I click on this one, I have the preview of the email itself. As you can see right there, pretty awesome, right? And now for the inbox integration, take note you can change this or move it to personal spaces. For example, this inbox right here, since I have linked or integrated my Gmail, I can place this one for to do or goals. Let's just say for to do, place it right there, it will now move out to inbox and move in into to do. There we have it right there. You can also preview this option with no problem at all. Download it by that option right there or simply print it. Pretty awesome, right? Now I'm gonna discuss something that is about the paid subscription, which is gonna be team queues. Under this one, you can create new team, new team for template, expand all or collapse all, of course. If I click on new team right there, as you can see right here, this is for the paid subscription, which is actually the business account. Under here, you can team collaborate, wherein you can share your list, role-based permissions, and the words. You can share calendars, you can even apply bulk actions, the templates, and the works. Anyway, for this one right here, if you apply the Teams option, you can also see it on Google Calendar. Should be around here somewhere under Teams, Queues, as you can see right there. 
and basically work as a team. I'm gonna create a video about that one in the upcoming videos regarding the paid subscription and their team, so please keep an eye out for it, it's gonna be awesome. Anyway, other than that, everything is under free trial except the Teams option. That is for the business account. So before we end this video, I just want to highlight the most powerful tool among everything here is going to be the search bar. Imagine you have thousands of tasks as I've mentioned earlier. I can simply type tag 1 here so everything under tag 1 will be shown up. I can filter everything here under my account or specific locations, has notes, has tags or due date right there and simply click on save search. So take note about this powerful tool and have some fun. Anyway, that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.